So a question I get asked a lot is, uh, what happens to greyhounds when they lose? We're going to ask Flying Guy here because he lost his race today. In fact, you finished dead last, buddy. Yes, you did. You finished eighth in a grade B race, but it happens. So let's define losing. Do you mean they lost because they didn't finish first? They didn't win? Well, then dogs lose all the time. Every single solitary day, multiple times. If we're going to talk about dogs finishing in the money, which is first, second, third, or fourth, then uh, that's a lot less. But um, they don't uh, they don't get punished, as you can see, for finishing last. Go ahead and some, drink some water, and you know they can listen to you drink there for a hot second. But um, if they lose a race, we're not going to shoot them in the head. We're not going to euthanize them. We're not going to beat them. We're not going to whip them. We're not going to punish them in any way. We're not going to feed, like, not feed them or feed them bad food or not let them go out with the other dogs or um, what else? I don't know. Whatever you think might happen, they get treated the exact same way as any other dog that raced that day. It doesn't matter whether they win a grade A race or they came in last in a grade D race. They get the same food. They go in and out at the same time. It's no different. So here, can I? Come here, buddy. Come here. Come let everybody see how handsome you are. So um, as you see, he's terribly devastated that he came in last. Um, he's just distraught, heartbroken. No, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. They don't know. So how it works is that there's actually a grading system. And I don't know why everyone thinks this is such a, a big a big secret but it's literally printed in every racing program uh at every track so i will go ahead and post a copy of ours and, I'll, and uh, ours works so there's uh four different grades a through d and then there's a grade m or maiden race and that's for uh dogs that just come in from the farm as their first races so once they win a maiden race, they can move up to grade D. If they win a grade D race, they move up to C and so on and forth, so forth. So they can go all the way up to grade A. So if they lose four races in a grade, then they drop down. So if they move it up all the way to B and they lose four races, they drop down to C. If they win their next C race, they go right back up to B again. So most dogs will fluctuate, you know, up and down between two or three grades. Some dogs will never reach grade A. So. It's just every dog has a completely different career and if they grade out here or they're not doing so well here, the owner may choose to transfer them to another track where they think that they're more competitive and have a better chance of winning. Or if they're doing really well here, they'll transfer them to a more competitive track where they can make more money, um, like over at Southland. And if they don't do so well at Southland, they'll come right back here. So we, we just got a dog back from Southland this week. So. It's, it's, uh, it's not so cut and dry. It's not like as soon as they lose a race, that's it, they're done. They, they go to the chopping block. Um, so it's pretty, um, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot uh, more complicated than that. So if you don't mind tonight drinking over you, um, then I'll explain that um, once they grade out, after they lose four races in grade B, uh, or we say pet it out, they go to an adoption group. There's over 100 greyhound adoption groups in the country, and every track has an official track adoption group. So once Kanai grades out, he'll either go to TPA of Tampa Bay, which is the track adoption group uh, for my, or for Derby Lane, or he'll go to uh, another adoption group. We also work with DST Sunstate right now, so the track adoption group for Fort Myers Maples. So either way, um, he will get neutered, and he will get his teeth cleaned, and he will get microchipped and completely checked out. He will get fostered and he will get adopted. So that's that's how it works. We're not dumping them in forests or using them as shark bait or any other things that you might have heard. Uh, they just go to adoption. It's it's not that exciting. It's not as uh, dramatic as some people like to make it out to be. There's no on-site crematoriums here or some mass grave where we just dump their bodies here on site. They just go to adoption. It's way easier to call an adoption group and just say, hey, come pick up this dog. He's been He's been retired. That's how it works. So I don't know if that disappoints you or not, but it really shouldn't. It should make you feel relieved and happy that there's a large community of dedicated volunteers to help these dogs find homes once they're retired racing. And that they are at a 95% adoption rate and the, uh, the remaining 5% go back to their racing owners. So there's a lot of hobby owners out there that only have a few dogs and then they keep them when they retire because it's just a hobby for them. It's not really a, a mainstream of income. So that's it.